Well, it's the last day of our holiday, folks, and we are at the beginning of Levante Beach. We've had a fantastic six days, seven days? Seven days and six nights. Seven days and six nights here, and I uh, hope you've seen a lot of Benidorm, which you probably didn't understand. We didn't, as I say, if we would have gone off of the uh, general public opinion of Benidorm, we would def definitely wouldn't have chose this as a, a destination to come to. As it's our last day here, we've already had breakfast at the hotel, and last night we ate in the hotel, didn't we, Sharon? Yes, and it was lovely. Uh, we spent 10 pounds, 10 euros. 10 euros each, and that allows you to eat in the buffet, because the hotel also does, um, rather than just the bed and breakfast, what we was having there, they do lunch and dinner as well, which we didn't have, and you can actually go in there and pay the 10 euros and have that, and we had such a massive selection of food there, weren't there, hot and cold. Best meal we had. Best meal, well, I say best meal. Well, the most cost-effective meal yes, we've had, yeah. and we thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. Anyway, as it's our last day here now, we're gonna have a little walk through the old town. We're at the start of um, the old town on the Le Levante Beach side. We're just gonna do a bit of shopping, we were gonna have a cup of coffee as well, maybe sit down and do a bit of people watching. There's we'll loads, like loads of people out. It's 20, 22, quarter to 11 at the moment. So uh, come with us on our last day and let's see what we get up to today. So as you can see, quite a busy beach front at the moment, folks, on Levante Beach side. And one thing to note as well is that, although we're walking along this sort of, um, what's it called, the marble footpath, so to speak, this is actually a footpath. Whereas this area here, going all the way along the beach, is actually a road, so you'll get cars, scooters, motorcycles and stuff coming along there. Even though you will see people showing walking along there, wouldn't you? But just be, just be aware that um, this is the actual footpath if you want to avoid being run over, innit, shall? Yeah. Right, so we're going to just spin round now. We're going to go down this little alley here, find somewhere to sit down, have a cup of coffee, That's and people watch. Check. Off we go, baby. I like it. There we go. He's just trying to tap me again for some money. The old pink wig, mate. He looks like Mel Brooks, if anyone knows uh, Mel Brooks from Blazing Saddles, who created that film. Two coffees. Yeah, he okay. must, apparently someone said in the comment section one that he does the rounds white, walking around, you. just taps you on the one shoulder, black coffee and, one and uh, white coffee. waves his little jug in front yeah. of you. Okay. Very strange. Anyway, Sharon's just uh, ordered a couple of coffees there, haven't you, Sharon? Tell me to take a seat. He's oh, lovely. I said one black and one white coffee. Oh, lovely. Blanco and Nero, isn't it? Black and white. Black and white. <laughs> and uh, I hope you have enjoyed our Spanish food tasting videos, folks. A lot of you said that um, the paella or paella we had uh, looked way too dark. Well, we thought that afterwards. Bearing in mind, we've never had one before. We did go on TripAdvisor, and um, that beachfront, La Bahia, I think it was, come up uh, very highly in the, uh, the what was the guide? TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor. Yeah. So that's what we went by. And obviously, when the food was uh, sent out to us, we didn't actually realise it was too dark, but. And a lot of people said that the rice shouldn't have had that pungent, fishy seafood taste. And I can understand it now I look back on it, that um, it looked like, as someone said, it was overcooked, way too dry, and they would have sent it back. Well, now we know if we did order another one, we probably will try another one, not this visit, but we'll look for the lighter colour one, which was probably more mm. apt to a traditional paella. But as I said in the video, they, they was cooked by proper Spanish people, Sharon. Yeah, the rest of the food looked lovely. The rest of the food yeah. there looked absolutely fantastic. So this isn't a, a thumbs down for that. No, job. no, not at Obviously, all. Obviously, sometimes some people throw out a bad uh, mess, a, a meal, and that's what happened in this case. And the service was excellent. And also, as well. in our six days here, seven days here, rather, isn't it? Oh, seven days. Seven days here, we've met so many subscribers to the channel who have actually come up and said hello it's and nice, stuff. It's nice, isn't it, when they do that? Um, you know, if, if you have seen us, we had a chat this morning, left a message saying that um, he was sitting next to us eating breakfast and uh, Should have said good morning. he hadn't seen our channel before, but obviously he's watched the uh, the T-shirt or seen the Butler's Empire T-shirt we've had on. And uh, anyway, I think it's Jeff, your name, Jeff. Nice morning, to see you. Jeff. Next time, come up and say hello. I did say that in the comments to you anyway. But uh, yeah, so we're going to do a bit of people watching. We're also going to do a little bit of shopping on the last day. We're in the old town and uh, we'll show you a few of the local souvenir shops and the other side of Benidorm, the shopping side of Benidorm today. Love it. I'm happy. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So let's do a bit of people watching. Put you on a bit of slow-mo. No, speed it up footage. What's that called? Oh, I like to see me speed it up going shopping. Time lapse, that's the word. 
put you on a bit of time. No, you, you spend money faster that way, Sharon. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. Uh, yes, thank yeah, you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. You're welcome. Brilliant. Americano, thank you. Oh, Americano. Lovely. For you, baby. That's Americano, Sharon. Here's one for you, folks. Those of you of a certain age, who sung Americano back in the 80s? Don't you say it. I can't think. I'm think uh, well, I'm thinking, yeah. I should say. There you go. Blue Jeans and Chinos, that was in it, in the song. I'll leave you with that one. See you in a minute. Oh, that's a good strong coffee, folks. There we go. Right, let's have a little look here. You've seen a t-shirt you want to get for baby Frank, didn't you? Yeah, look, that's him, isn't it? Of course it is. He's got us wrapped around his little finger, shall we? Yeah. Let's That'd see. fit him, wouldn't it? Yeah, see if they've got any... No, he's age two to three, Martin. Oh, is it? I don't know. They've got, look, up there. Might yeah, be so all your uh, touristy stuff, folks, is on sale here in Benidorm. I haven't seen that other mug shell. No. I've got all these other Benidorm mugs here, but not that one. Oh, sorry for the flickering lights, folks. But uh, not that one that uh, I've now bought you. That other one, isn't it? What you got there, that it? That's it. I say a lot of the uh, shops do cash only and also card, isn't it, shell? Mm. A lot of the eateries are cash only, but uh, most of the souvenir shops are card. Thank you. Right, shell. Now, are you sure you don't want Butler's Empire tattooed across your forehead? Only if you get your tongue pierced. <laughs> oh no, there that's not going to happen, is it? No. Prince Albert. <laughs> no, you're not taking them uh, Chinese lions, no. I'm sure. I don't think uh, Merlin and Dougal would appreciate it, Sharon. No, I think you're right. Nothing changes, folks. She's inside doing her shopping, and I'm outside sitting down, watching the world go by. <laughs> Could be in the UK. Right, so you've got a few presents now, Sharon. Yeah. We've been walking for quite a bit, haven't we? Yeah, this is a bit we haven't been to as well, isn't it? It's not so touristy up here, is yeah, it? Yeah, so actually? I'm uh, getting a different vibe here. I say we're still in the old town, obviously, mm. but there's so many little different avenues that you can go through. We've been through a shopping market there, as you've just seen, and um, now we've come out the other side, and we've never been here before, but again, loads and loads of shops. Less touristy stuff here, Sharon. Yeah. These are more sort of normal shopping. I think we might have to turn around. Why is that then? Because I'm not going to get my grandsons anything in the well, We don't know, Shadow, do we? We, we? we honestly don't know, just like we don't know how to order by here, do we? <laughs> <laughs> we'll carry on for a bit longer, folks. What's that, Shadow? So they're not bad. They look nice, actually, 250 Yeah. This is a selection of paint. This is obviously a baker's, folks, so. Uh, but what's it called? I don't know. What is it called? Martin Martin. No, it's not got my name above no. the door, Shadow, has it? Oh, look. <laughs> Martin Martin. Or oh, Martin Martin, Sharon. Yeah. I would imagine. But it looks nice, looks tasty, but that was shell. That's spoiled our dinner. 
Yes, what, yes, we, what, we, what should we have for have, dinner? Have they seen this, by the way? Look. Oh, you can't see it, can you? Oh. That's where the microphone was, look. We've had to move the microphone, folks. I've got a bag strap. <laughs> and a strap bag. <laughs> Coming in. We decided to turn around, folks, and go down this way because we've got to get a couple of T-shirts for our grandchildren. So we've got to go back to the touristy bit, shall we? That's where we get things, isn't it? Of course it is. So we just walked through a little alleyway, folks, which we just found, shall we, haven't we? Yeah. And there's uh, another little tapas bar here, and everyone sitting outside here is Spanish, and it, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? They're eating mussels as well. But saying that, look at the sign. What's big that sign? Well, it's a big mussel. The of course it is. Seafood yeah. shell. Yeah. But yeah, every family along there is uh, eating tapas outside now. And it's 12.27 in the afternoon. And now all the bars and restaurants shall. Yeah, open. Are open and coming to life, aren't they? And we're still looking for t-shirts. <laughs> hey, are you not hungry yet, baby? I'm getting a bit hungry, actually. I think we've done about 6,000 steps at the moment, folks. But uh, we've got a lot more to do today. So and last day we've got to make the most of it. We've got to make it. the most of it, Shao, but we're spending most of it drinking shopping. I don't mind that though. Of course you so don't. It's not so bad today as it's not so hot, so yeah. it's quite bearable walking about. And also walking about the marketplace, you, the, because the buildings are so close together mm. and you're walking down little alleyways, although it's hot on the beach, it's pretty cool here, so that's another thing to consider. When you do your shopping, you're not going to get blinking scolded, Sharon. That's it, yeah. Anyway, let's carry on. Right, so we're at, where are we, Sharon? Plaza Triangular. If anyone knows what that is, whether she's pronounced it correctly or what. Of course I haven't. But that's where we are, and we're going to make our way up to Ray's 2 Fish and Chip Shop. Because it's our last day, we thought, well, we'll have something we want. We've had fish and chips on the first day, and we're going to have it on the last day. But rather than go back to uh, Northern Seoul, a lot of people have said Ray's 2 is the place to go, Sharon. So, race two, we're going. It's 1.6 kilometers here, right along the um, seafront, the Levante Beach. So, we're going to go back there, walk straight along there, and again, have fish and chips at race two. Anyway, come with us and enjoy. I've yeah. just been accosted, shall by this gentleman here. <laughs> <laughs> he just caught us doing a bit of filming. How are you? And where are you from? North. How long have you been here? Just here from last Saturday. Oh right, are you here for a week, two weeks? Yeah, just a week. Just we're going home from Sunday, you know, Saturday. And you've also been watching the videos. Yes. Have we portrayed Benidorm in a good light? I think. Yeah, yes. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, we we've never been here before. Well, and we've been here three or four times in that way. Yeah, and your hotel is where? It's uh, up beside the Benidorm Palace. Oh, that's a place we have How far is that from here? Is it a bus ride or? Aye, well, it's a good, it's good. Well, you could walk it, like, you know. Yeah. It's not, it's not well, we've got to walk to 1.6 kilometres, shall Yeah, but it says it's that way. Well, I don't know, shall we? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. We're going to yeah. raise two fish and chip shop this time, so we're going to do a little review on that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we go Mac tonight, half two. That's right, yeah. Oh, you know the McMaster yeah, as well, yeah. then. Watch them too, like. Anyway, let's have a little chat with your missus. So you're oh, going home when? Sunday. Sunday. Today is our last day. We're going, oh hello! <laughs> you never know what the road and what the pavement is here, that's a trouble yeah, show, isn't it? Be, it's going to be your last day on earth then! Anyway, we're going to have a little chat with these and we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> well, they was a lovely couple, weren't they, Shell? They were. Yet again, every day we've been bleating recognised. But, uh, what was it, where are we going now? He threw fish me, Shell. He threw me, and he'll, he'll, he also watches my Retro Restore channel. Those of you who don't know, I've got a Retro Restore channel where I actually repair stuff and things like that, so have a look at that as well. You might enjoy that. Especially the blokes out there, shall we? Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> of course you wouldn't. Let's go and find that blinking Rays too. Come on, off we go. Right, so we've come from down there, folks. That's where the uh, old town is. So this is the, just over the other side there is the, the Levante Beach. So we're walking basically behind Levante Beach here, Sharon. Under the halos. Just to show you, this is a different, yeah, where all the halos are, all these lights here, that's right. So we're going to take a walk down here, and this is, uh, an, again, another main part of the shopping attraction which people come to. Mm. And as I say, this is just behind the beach, so we're going to take a walk down here, and Ray's 2 Fish and Chip Shop should be somewhere down here. And if we carry on walking down here, we'll end up at Mateo's Bar and also yeah. Sol Pelicanos as well, just to let you know where that is. It's just, a, again, yet a different vibe on the, the busiest side of Benidorm. So as you can see folks, there's not much distinction or demarcation lines from the pavement to the uh, 
the road. So just be careful when you're walking down here because uh, obviously you do get a lot of scooters come down here as well and obviously mobility scooters. And uh, if you are not got your wits about you or you're not paying attention, you could get a little whack. Right, well, the sat nav shower has brought us here, but we don't know whether this is raised one or raised two, do we? No. It just says raised chippy. Well, anyway, we're here. We're going. Let's go in, baby. We'll ask them when we're in there, shall we? Well, it says there, folks. There's no tables. We're at raised two, so that's what we're going to have. Oh, and they do haddock here as well, do they? Look, faggots. Yeah, I don't want faggots today, shall Oh, it looks nice. Yeah, even the large haddock and chips is only 11.25, shall what are you thinking you're having? I've got to go in and sit down. Right, let's get in first. Have a read. Very busy, shall we? It is busy. Not much, uh, not much tables inside. I don't know if we can sit outside or not. Well, we've got a table, shall we? She just said it's going to be about 20 minutes because she's very, very busy. We don't mind waiting, shall we? No. Just place their order. And what have you gone for, Sharon? Uh, medium haddock and chips. And a Sprite. No sugar free. And one thing I've realised, a lot of the people eating in here, folks, are Spanish. So the Spanish are having English. They have to do what we should be doing. <laughs> well, we've had two lots this week, Sharon. Yeah. And I thought we'd just finish off with uh, something we wanted. But you did say, you, you said they got their homemade steak pie here. You had yeah. You was going to have that, wouldn't you? On another visit, on a, I've got to find a decent steak pie. They also do steak kidney pie as well, Sharon. Pudding, pudding. Pudding, that's what I'm after, yeah. So uh, we'll have a little look at that later on, folks, on another visit. But uh, we'll bring you back in. I've had the large haddock, by the way. You had a regular, Sharon? Medium, yeah, medium. Medium, I had a large. We'll see if there's any difference in size. And I've also gone for the curry sauce, mushy peas, and one slice of bread to make the official chip butty with everything on it, Sharon, four metal jacket. Yeah? Right, Sharon, just turned up. You've got a medium fish and chips. You've also asked some tart sauce as well. Get it seasoned up, baby. And while she's doing that, I've gone for the large there, and as you can see, it's significantly larger than Sharon's one. I've got an extra big chunk there, Sharon, which you haven't got. Mushy peas are on the plate there, and I've also got the curry sauce and my slice of bread and butter. So I'll let you go in first, yeah? What well, you've got to start saying is, I'll let you burn your mouth first. <laughs> and don't forget, this has all been cooked fresh to order, folks. So chips first. I won't ask straight away. What's the batter like, Sharon? Chips are lovely, fun chips. Are they? Okay. Let's have a look there. And you went for the haddock as well. Big chunky uh, portion. Nice. Tasty. Try a bit of that tartar sauce on, shall Lovely crunchy butter. Is it? Mm. What about the curry sauce? Have a go at that, go on. Dip the chip in, baby. Looks like a Chinese style flavour one. Oh, it smells spicy. Well, I like that. <laughs> is that hot or is it spicy? A bit of both. Steam hot. Steam hot. Spicy, though. No, it's right. Let me have a go now, shall I? Right, first of all, a bit of vinegar. I do like vinegar on my batter, folks, so don't mind me for that. I've got to go easy with the salt because you were going to go at me last time. Okay. So, I'll try a chip first. Forget, I'm going to go in with my fingers here. Yeah. They are crunchy on the outside, aren't they? No, they're lovely. You don't normally get that? No. These have definitely been freshly cooked. And I have to say, fluffy on the inside. <laughs> I'm not going to fluffy on the inside. Let's have a go at the uh, mushy peas. Again, I do like a good mushy pea. Yeah, they're fine. Good standards, British 
Mushy P. Now look at that, folks. I think I've got the same size as you. In fact, it's a little bit bigger than yours, actually, Sharon. And I've got this extra bit on there as well. Look at that. Look. So let's have a bite into that. It don't look like there's any skin on it, Sharon. Oh, yeah. That's a meaty bit of fish there, folks. The batter very crispy, even though I put vinegar on it, which I like. Let's have a little bit of that curry sauce. Taste a bit first of all. Oh, yeah, that's got a kick in it. With the back of the throat. And now. <laughs> oh, oh, <yeah. coughs> Yes, the resistance, folks, is the full metal jacket. I'm even going to put some peas in this. Show. I don't care. I'm on holiday. Yeah. I'm going to go over that. Get a few of these chips in there. This is going to be hot. I know it. And shall? Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, Sharon. Hey. Nah, that'd be fine, Sharon. Full metal jacket, folks. I'm not going to put the fish in there. Because it's a chip butty. Here we go. Oh. That is a taste sensation. We're going to eat this, folks. And we'll come back to you. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always That's good. I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb. Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy. I've been thinking lately, lately it's you. You stole your peace, put it on me. Maybe it's you Lying like a rat But take your stuff back Maybe it's Well, empty plate Empty plate from Sharon What did you think of that, baby? Lovely Very, very nice As good as the other one? Not as good as the... Uh, Thank you one. No, just the bill, thank you. <laughs> Could have got me shot then, didn't hey? you? Could have got me shot then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to say as it's this, yeah? Nothing, nothing wrong with it, but that other one, like the homemade tartar sauce, made it. Things oh, I like see that, what you yeah? mean, yeah, I didn't notice that. Nothing yeah. wrong with it at all, it's no. lovely. As I say, for this end of the, the uh, beach, Levante Beach, you're eating a, a good fish and chip shop here, aren't you? It seems to me you have to travel to Spain to get good fish and chips. Yeah, I do agree with Sharon there, although it is a very good fish and chip shop. I actually ate everything, and that was a large compared to the large which I had at uh, Northern Seoul. And as Sharon said, that tartar sauce made it. The, the fish on here, no take away from it, was absolutely fantastic. The batter was crispy, the meat was thick, thick rather. And also, it didn't have any skin on the uh, fish either. The chips are fantastic. The curry sauce, I think, personally, was better, Sharon. Right. More of a kick to it. I do like a good Chinese-style curry sauce. Thank you. Thank you. And all in all, I had two Diet Pepsis. Sharon had a Sprite. All what you saw there come to 31 euros and five cents. Not bad. That's actually dearer than Northern Soul. Was it? Yeah. But we had two drinks. Did I have yeah. two drinks? I can't, I can't remember. remember. No, I can't remember. But they're all in the same yeah. ballpark. But at the end of the day, this is Range 2 Fish and Chip Shop, right down the other end of Levante Beach. And it's a great fish and chip shop, but it must be, because all the Spaniards come here and eat Sharon. Yeah, that's you right. Know. Can't fault it, really. These two tables here, folks, as you can see, sticking over there, totally full Spanish-speaking people. And they're of an age, and they've eaten more than us, Sharon.
Haven't they? <laughs> that shows you it must be good. So there we go, folks. That was race two. We did thoroughly enjoy it. We did. And uh, we're going to make our way back now because we've got to get ready to go home, Sharon. And we've got to pack up. <laughs> but we will be back. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, don't forget to check out the other ones in this Ben and Orm series. Sure you'll enjoy it. And do have a little binge watch of our other videos as well. We get up to quite a lot, Sharon, don't we? Oh, we do. Including, including some uh, cooking. We do some uh, vlogs. We do our vlog every Sunday, folks, where it's a live premiere, where you can see what we've been getting up to during our normal weeks. And there's a chat box there where you can chat to us live. So do have a look at that as well. We had a thousand in last week, which was very nice. Yeah, thank you very much. So we'll see you in the chat box on Sundays and failing that. Ring that little notification bell and set your preferences to all. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye.